How do you prove your UX value? During our Q&A session at our New York Virtual UX Conference, Jacob Nielsen answered two questions about what to do when you're the only researcher on a team of designers, as well as when you're an outside consultant or agency, as opposed to an in-house team. I mean, the, there are really kind of two questions here. Either they're right or they're wrong. And if, if, if they're right, I mean, that I guess is, is good for them. Uh, and it's bad for you in that case. But I think it's the more likely the case that if the other people really are good designers and are specialized in doing good design, they're probably not great researchers. They can probably do some research. I mean, definitely it's, it's not that hard to do user research. So I'm sure they can do some. But uh, the point then becomes for you to prove that there's value and not just doing the little quick and dirty usability study that actually anybody can do once they've taken a few courses on it, but also these kind of deeper, like let's say do a discovery, like we had a course on that in this conference on how to do discoveries or how to do other more advanced type of user research that can really um, take the product to the, the infamous next level, but I mean, it's true that the deeper insights can have enormously much more value. I mean, the smaller insights are very important because we all know that uh, design can just be killed by like one wrong button or, or one wrong icon or one wrong word in the screen even. So yeah, every detail is important and many of those details, if they're really terrible design, then you know almost anybody can find them if they bother to test with five users, you'll find it. But a lot of the additional insights do require better research methodology, uh, better you know, ability to do research. And so that I think is where you uh, kind of prove your, your, your extra value from being able to do some of these things and step outside just like, okay, let's look at the, you know, this week's sprint and this one little feature that we're designing right now and can we tweak that a little bit? Uh, that's also important to do. But besides that, there's also the, the bigger picture type of thing that does require dedicated research where maybe you go off and spend several months on, on, a, on a big research project. You're not gonna get the design, designers to wanna do that. That's just not their job. I guess kind of related, <laughs> related to that a little bit, you mentioned you know, if something is a really long uh, research project, um, Andrea Carpenter from Denver asked, you know, what about a user experience when you're a consultant? Like what should, consultants and maybe agencies be doing to strive to be as effective UX practitioners as an in-house team, maybe? Well, I mean, there's a difference between an outsider and an insider. I mean, there are various differences, but one of the differences is the people who work in the company every day, I mean, they will always know more about that product because they worked on it for years and years and years. Uh, so what is the value of not having that knowledge, right? So I think there is a variety of different values that you get from coming from the outside. One is, I think, the fresh perspective. That's just invaluable because the people who have worked on something for years and years, they kind of know, well, that's the way we do it. And they kind of maybe forget sometimes that some of the, some of the basic uh, conceptions may be actually kind of wrong. Uh, and there are big, big areas that you were just neglecting and not fulfilling meeting customers' needs. But because you've always done it in this way, you keep refining it in that way and making it better, hopefully, in that direction. But you don't think about it, we can go this completely other direction. That could be the, the big you know, leap. And that's the other thing that the outsider can, can provide is that they have worked on a lot of other projects. Now, one of the, the firm rules of consulting is you can never tell one client about another client. I mean, in our company, you will never hear us talk about what we saw with any client because then you have no business after you, after you spill the beans there. So no consultant will ever tell you about another client, but they also can't wipe their brain. They know they have seen hundreds of other designs and hundreds of, com of different types of users, et cetera. And so they will have this much broader set of insights of alternative ways in which one can do things. And so that means that they can, they can come from the outside and provide that fresh perspective and do and, and give a low, quite often a very nice boost to a design project just by the fact that they're the outsider. And maybe like to one last thing they can do because they're the outsider is that they can also maybe speak the truth a little bit more clearly. Sometimes when you're the insider, you have to be a little step a little carefully because you know that it's some person's pet thing, this feature, even if it's useless. But if you're the outside consultant, you can say this feature is useless. You ought to get rid of it. Right, and um, that's the benefit of being consultant. You can speak the truth more, more clearly. And also actually sometimes 
sometimes even be valued more as well. And that's one thing we have actually also sometimes experienced that sometimes we'll go and give it advice and there are actually some UX people in, the, in that client and they kind of know that point already. But because now comes like a famous outside expert and says this, you know, that sometimes is listened to more. So there's a variety of different ways in which being the outsider can add value. And there, on the other hand, also things where the insider can add more and more value because they've been there for, for forever. And they know, like, if you want to get this through, you go and tech, talk to this person. Get the other thing through, you go to that person. I mean, interesting to know if you're the insider. So I think both are very valuable.